This better be over an hour each segment. Shane's just an amazing, an amazing YouTuber. October 1st, that's coming up! Ah! <laughs> Sometimes you don't feel like a winner. And you have to write a- Yes! Hashtag Katie, Katie Turner. She's from American Idol. All right, Jeffree Star, all right. I don't, I have no idea what this is yet. Oh, is this Jeffree Star? I've seen that it's, this is uh, Shane Dawson new series on Jeffree. <gasps> this is the trailer, Shane Dawson's trailer. I don't really know too much about these two. I'm so excited for this series to drop, you don't even understand. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I saw the first series and I was shook to the core. I've actually seen this trailer. <laughs> It was amazing. I actually got emotional at one point. Oh dang, there's some high class stuff. That's a really nice plane. <laughs> See, I don't watch either of them at all. This better be over an hour each segment. I know that they filmed this since January, so it covers a long period of time. Is this like a love song for the two? Like shipping them or something? I wish I could live a day as Jeffree Star. This music is so sentimental. It makes me feel like the documentary is going to be kind of sad. The way this is put together really just shows the power of editing. They're not just showing the acting side to it. It's just like everything. They're showing every aspect of their life. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> the pig mirror. I want to do that with the pig mirror. <laughs> oh, he works out, that's right. Oh yes, lift, baby. I'm still not really sure what like the meaning of the video is supposed to be. I'm invisible. There's like such a powerful duo. I stand. I really do like their friendship together. I do watch their videos together. They're, they're really special. <laughs> We've been trying to get into makeup. It's so cute. Stop. Ryland and Shane are so cute. Oh, love Ryland. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Maybe it's like, is it, are they going on a tour or something? The meetups people have are insane. That's like old Jeffrey. I feel like Jeffrey's gone through so many stages. He's grown so much. No, that's not me. I'll never be from Queen. Oh, Uno! No, that's not me. A lot went on here. There was a lot of emotions. You could feel it. From Queen. Oh, Andrew. Oh my god, Shane's doing makeup? What? Shane's just an amazing, an amazing YouTuber. I love him so much. It's okay, it's all right. Oh, no. oh my gosh, so many people are crying or stressed out. Oh, oh, ah, uh, I heard about that. James Charles, I remember that scandal. I feel like if I watch them, I might understand it, but I have no idea what's going on. Um, that was a whole scandal. Like James, it was like a big like shift in the beauty industry. I want a lot of stress on this guy. Somebody to someone. But it all <gasps> is he proposing? <gasps> but it oh, in March. It was, <laughs> when I saw the post on Instagram, I was about to cry. Burn the sash. Oh, Tati. When everyone's just crying, like. Like, I just wonder what's actually happening. This is what I like because they, they're showing like the scandals that happened in the beauty community and I can't wait to see how they dealt with it. I feel like they hold nothing back when they film these. Like, you really see the vulnerability. <laughs> All the scandals both of them have gone through, that's crazy. <laughs> Beautiful world of Jeffree Star, October 1st. Mmm, oh, okay, so it's a trailer. October 1st! <laughs> I can't wait.
My stomach just dropped. Oh my god. October 1st, that's coming up. Ah! <laughs> it has the big drama. It has all that good stuff. I can't wait. His documentaries are so like well thought out and put together. And I honestly don't even think it should be on YouTube. I believe it should be on Netflix or something. So that was the trailer for Shane Dawson's newest documentary series, The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. Yes, I've heard all about it. It already has well over 10 million views since it was released last week. 10 mil? Holy sh Whoa. I mean, I'm not surprised, it's Shane. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I just, I can get so into it. What did you think of the trailer? I liked it a lot. It's interesting because it didn't show too much but it gave the vibe of it. I mean, I was captivated, like, despite me not really knowing what was going on, it really made me feel like more human because seeing other people obviously be human is enough for you to be. Tears are shed, you know, you could feel stress from them. Like, you can see that they, they're going through it for sure. It's not just like a happy life. When it first dropped, my first reaction was, oh my God, he's doing another documentary about Jeffrey because he's already done one. The clips they showed of the Jeffrey James Charles beef, like that was, a huge thing on YouTube for a bit, and like no one really knows what happened. It's gonna be cool to like look back on it now that it's a couple months past and past, and like everything's kind of unearthed. So, how big of a deal is Shane Dawson and Jeffrey Star? Would you say to teenagers today? For me, I feel like I don't even have a choice but to know who they are. I feel like I would live under the under a rock if someone asked me, hey, "You know who this is?" And they're like, "I'm like, no, who is that?" They're gonna be like, "Where have you been at? Like, do you even exist?" They are so up there, like. It's actually insane. Like, I think people keep up with Shane and Jeffrey and James Charles and all of those more than, like, people used to about the Kardashians. So Shane has been on YouTube for a long time, starting back in 2008. Oh, that's a long time. Whoa, wait, that's 11 years. I was seven. I was in kindergarten. <laughs> teens that watch Shane when he first started are now adults, but you are teens today also watching him. What do you think about the longevity of YouTube stars like Shane and Jeffrey? It's, it's great to see because they're inspirations to a lot of YouTubers, you can tell, you know? Big dogs like them have shed like a lot of like their energy onto other people to inspire them to make their own videos. A big round of applause to them because people switch like their opinion and their minds on and like on their taste and what they want to see so quickly. They're really taking what people want to see and like transforming themselves in that way. People have their blow up phases and then they kind of make their content and then they, a lot of people fizzle out. And it's pretty, like, there's not a lot of big YouTubers that are still really relevant from back in that era, and Shane's one of them. He's grown so much, and he's still doing it, and I think he's really staying close to his roots, but also evolving at the same time, which is how you succeed. He and JC, they've done um, the, the reality house, and that's not something you would usually see on YouTube, because, like, YouTube is for shorter videos, and their video is, like, 30 minutes long. It's like an episode. So I feel like he is influencing people to like not keep on the YouTube spectrum. Shane Dawson's changing the game because his level of production value is so high compared to other YouTube videos. It's just a two person team. There's no big production studio or anything. They're just in their house with a camera, which is like, the vision of how YouTube began. Just like, you know, people at home with cameras. So back to the upcoming Jeffree Star documentary. It was announced around February of 2019 that Shane is launching a product line with Jeffree, some of which may have been shown in the trailer. I had no idea that Shane did makeup. You would never think Shane would be making products with Jeffree Star. Is that the pig mirror? You're kidding. I'm so excited for that. So what do you think about that aspect potentially being in the series? I think it's super interesting because it brings like both of, their friendship is very genuine and it just brings both of them together. Pretty good marketing scheme to be honest because not only are you gonna wanna buy it, but you know exactly what happened in the process. <laughs> That's gonna like really hold with the fans if they can see how the merch is made. And Shane has a really strong fan base, so I think that's really gonna resonate. If it's really diving in their life, it's a part of their life, you know? It's their life and we wanna know what it's like to release a product like that. That makes me want to buy the merch even more because I'm not going to sit there and watch people be like, buy my merch, buy my merch, like every freaking video. So it's good that you get to see the journey of how he's making it, what him and Jeffrey are like collaborating on. The documentaries Shane has made have been among the most popular series in YouTube history, but some have been critical feeling they can be a little one-sided or overdramatic. 
Yeah. There was a lot of controversy on tr on Twitter. I saw a lot of people were tweeting about it and were saying how it might be biased, um, especially towards the beauty community. Just from seeing how raw it is, I think it's going to be very genuine. Others feel like it takes too long for him to release the content, sometimes many months. So by the time it releases, some of the content is not current anymore. Uh, he shouldn't be criticized at all, in my opinion. His hard work and dedication is so powerful that even if it takes months, it should, he, Honestly, whatever he releases will be relevant again. So what do you think about the criticism? I've seen so much negativity about them, but the, like what doesn't have any negativity in it anymore? Like he's been doing a great job. I've never questioned how genuine Shane Dawson is because he's built up so much credibility like throughout his YouTube career. I think he cares too much about his viewers to put out content that he doesn't truly believe in. People want to like pick at everything, but at the end of the day, he's really, really trying to like make YouTube a different platform than what some people like know it to be. So finally, by the time this episode airs, the first episode of Shane's documentary may be out and it may be a nine part series. Nine? Oh my God. This is good, but also not good because I need to do homework. So will you be watching? I will be watching it. I might check it out, but I'm not sure if I like follow like the series. I feel kind of inclined. I would want to join in on the conversation. I will be watching it. like. Doesn't matter if it's an hour long, an episode two hours long, I'm still gonna watch it. I probably won't check it out just because it's uh, Jeffree Star's like the core or whatever. Maybe if it was someone like I'm a little more interested in, I would definitely watch a Shane Faze documentary. That'd be fire. And I, I feel like that would get a lot of views too. I mean, they're huge. I don't have an attention span for like long videos, but I will be watching it. 100% October 1st is on my calendar, all nine episodes. I'm not losing one minute of that documentary. <laughs> I will watch every single one. It's definitely like, pop culture news, which is crazy, like that YouTube has this kind of influence now. Of course I'll be watching, what the heck? I literally finished all the other series in one night. I don't think that is a good thing, but now that it is a nine part, it'll, oh my gosh, this is a challenge, but I think I'm ready to take on this challenge. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React and shout out to Beauty Beach XO. If you like this episode, hit the like button. Bye everybody. Hey everyone, Lauren Produce here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you wanna go check out Shane's new docuseries, make sure you go to his channel. You can subscribe to him and Jeffree Star by clicking the link over here or down in the description. Bye everyone.